absolutely love this question. How to deal with the scammers who add me? How to deal with the scammers who add me? So when you're using Facebook or, or Instagram really, but mainly on Facebook, what's gonna happen is when you're producing content and you're commenting, people are gonna add you. And unfortunately, when you start, it'll feel like everyone adds you, it's a scammer. So it might be nine out of 10, it's a schema. Eventually, if you follow what I'm gonna teach you now, it'll go to eight out of 10, then seven out of 10, six out of 10, five out of 10, four, eventually you'll get one every 100 or so. I've now got a moment I checked, I've got about 700 friend requests, and I scan through, I know it's not very easy for me to give you an exact number, but there'll be no more than 20 people in there who were like fake accounts. Now the fake accounts for the men, you're most likely gonna get women who have huge assets, and they, you might wanna add them, but you don't, please don't, because if you add one, you're screwed. Okay, um, and the women, you're probably gonna get men who are gonna ask you for marriage proposals, ask you for help with visas, are gonna wanna send photos of themselves to you, they're gonna ask you for photos, they're gonna use abusive behavior, just basically disgusting human beings. Um, and you can just spot them. You, you, I'm not gonna go into how you can spot them, but you pretty much know there's the red flags with the, well, I'll give you a little basics of the red flags. No cover photo, right? Or one photo or similar photos of themselves or like they've got 15 or 20 or 30 friends or their posts say triple X in it, you know? You, just, you can just tell. So before you add anyone, check them out. If they don't look legit or you're not too sure, you're thinking, uh, doesn't look legit, don't waste any time, just go delete. But as soon as you press delete on a computer or a laptop or a Mac or whatever, a desktop or a laptop, as soon as you press delete or ignore or whatever comes up on your device, hit mark as spam. Now, if you use a mobile, it probably won't come up. So it's very important to do this, right? If you see a scammer or a schema, to, to not delete them from your mobile. Go onto your computer and then go delete mark as spam. Here's what happens. This is what I've noticed. The more I do this, the more I delete and mark as spam, the less schemers, scammers, all those spammers, the less of them come to me. Because Facebook, it'll tell Facebook that, whoa, these types of profiles are really annoying that person. And if we don't stop, they might leave the platform. I would. If I just kept getting schemer, scammer, spammer, all the time just coming in and in and in and in, eventually I'd be like, oh, this is just too much. I've had enough of this person, I'm off. All right, so do that. Okay, so if, 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 you, if you know they're a scheme or a scammer, you just don't want it, you don't want anything to do with them, go onto a desktop, go onto the internet, the, the desktop version on the Safari or Google or whatever it might be that you use, delete them, mark as spam, right? It'll happen less. They'll get flagged, they'll get reported, and they'll cut it out. I believe in the next three to five years, almost all spam accounts won't exist at all because Facebook have implemented uh, facial recognition so if they, they start to see your face, and that's why when you're posting now, it's recognizing your friends who are in the posts. I did a post about myself the other day. A post about myself, that sounded weird. I did a post and it had me in it, and it straight away tagged me, froze it, boom, because it recognizes my face. And the more time goes on, the more technology is available, it will happen. And when they go, ah, that person, unless you're an identical twin, is probably a fake account. And these fake accounts are using Google Images there's like two billion, there'll be three billion by that time, three billion users on Facebook. They can't all use the same profile, so they won't get accepted for a profile. They have to do something about it because it's a massive issue, and that issue will then transfer over to Instagram. It's just the way it's gonna go. So hope you get benefit from that. Uh, really, really appreciate the messages that have come through as well. Absolutely phenomenal. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you like this sort of content, feel free to hit that subscribe button, like this video, give me a comment, and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Um, feel free also to connect with me over on Instagram and Facebook. And in the meantime, go ahead and watch those two recommended videos I've got for you there. And see you soon.